Well, it's going to happen pretty much anywhere on your skin. Germs can get underneath the skin and multiply, resulting in swelling, redness, pus, and pain. The problem is that inside your ear, the skin of what's called your ear canal is very, very sensitive. It's also not stretchy. So, of course, if that pus builds up, there's nowhere for it to go, and it can be particularly painful. Now, infection often happens because of trauma, sadly often because people have shoved things inside their ears. And yes, I do include cotton buds. Nothing in your ears to clean them, please. Or the skin can get inflamed because of things like shampoo, soap, or swimming pool water, for instance, which can cause inflammation, and that can allow germs to get underneath. The symptoms, you almost certainly know that pain is the main symptom, but you can also get itching and irritation and often hearing loss, interestingly. If the pus bursts or the boil bursts, then you'll often get a sudden release of pain, but you'll also, at the same time, get discharge from your ear. Now, boils in the ear often actually settle on their own because they'll often come to a head and burst. That'll be the end of it. But what you may find in the meantime is that painkillers and possibly a warm compress on your ear may help. If things are really bad, see your GP just in case you need antibiotics.